Calculating compound interest is something you might encounter in this class, and this is a, a type of problem that just follows a similar, uh, a, a simple formula uh, to solve the problems. So the formula that you need to remember is this: a equals p one plus r over n to the n t for standard compound interest. And if you want a, a compound interest that is continuously compounded, we have P e to the R t. So this is continuously. And if you have any other type, compounded daily, monthly, yearly, whatever, anything like that, you're going to use the top one. So let's think about what these variables mean. The R in both of these equations is the interest rate that you get expressed as a decimal. P stands for the principal, that's the amount of money you invested initially into this account or whatever this is describing. A is the accumulated amount, that's the final amount of money. In this equation up here we have N, so N is how many times your interest is compounded per time period, and T is how many time periods. So. I don't want to say years specifically because occasionally you're going to get one where the time period is not exactly a year. So T is how many time periods, N is how many compoundings per time period, and R is the rate. So finding out how much money you would have at the end is a simple matter of uh, using these formulas. Now keep in mind for the continuously, you're using the constant E. So it's very possible that you get a question here using this where you need to solve for R or T. And in order to solve for them, since they're in the exponent, you would have to use a logarithm and your logarithm rules. So using compound interest is just a matter of memorizing and using these two formulas.